consider a line and a point which is not on the line and uh, there is a variable point on the line let's call it p and let's call the outside point a and the task is the question is that you have to minimize the distance p you have to find a, a point p on the line you can move this point on the line such that p a is minimum where is that point p you have to find the location of the point p such that p a is minimum so this of course doesn't look like the minimum p a we can move more to the right and we see that the distance has is now shorter so then you can move more to the right and you can feel that it's somewhere here that the, 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 the distance is minimum because if you move more to the right the distance again is increasing so what is this uh, what what is this special point how do you um how do you define this point so this must be the perpendicular isn't it because then if this is perpendicular this is 90 degrees then this angle is also 90 degrees and um, then uh, this triangle this triangle here and this triangle also this one they both of them will be right angle triangle so let's concentrate on this one first so this is a right angle triangle this is the hypotenuse so hypotenuse is the longest side you know it's it's the largest angle and the 90 degree is the largest angle in this triangle and the side opposite to that will be the largest one so hypotenuse this distance let's mark it let's call it one this distance one is longer than distance two and similarly similarly in this triangle if you apply the same logic the distance three from here to here is uh, greater than distance two and uh, you can have any such line any such distance other than two then you can say that that distance will be more than uh, uh, the distance two that this distance so basically we have found the point from where the distance is shortest and that point is that point is here when p a is perpendicular to the line I think this is very easy to see but uh, if we know this then we can proceed on to another very interesting puzzle I have seen it a few times in my experience and uh, let's see what that puzzle is so it's like you have a line and you have two points on the same side of the line okay and these two points are at some distances um, let's say a is farther and b is closer that's fine and a and b are at the same side of the line okay so we will deal with this situation first okay and the question now is you have to find a point p on the line such that p a plus p b is minimum so you can feel like uh, suppose you are here suppose you walk down from point a to the line to some point on the line and then you walk back to b in straight lines and you have to find a point p such that this is minimum okay so this is not the minimum this is not the point of course this is not the point we have to find it let's so let's uh, move towards right and then think from here maybe the distance is minimum um i don't think it's minimum it we have certainly made some progress now the distance is shorter because uh, before this distance was longer and this distance was also longer now you don't have that much distance you can feel it right let's be intuitive let's not go into logical explanation triangular um, triangle inequalities and things like that we can see that this distance is shorter so this is a progress then we can think intuitively about this point right here from here like this point here from here you can see that the distance is uh, the distance of a is shortest from this point but the b is still far away so this looks like a good point but maybe this is not it mm, this is better of course this is better because from the previous option now the, now both the distances are shorter 
And then now if you move more to the right, then you face a, a kind of situation because the PA now, if this is the new P, then the PA now has increased, you know, but the PA has de PB has decreased. This is PB has decreased, right? Before the PB was this much. Now PB is this much. PB has decreased, but PA has increased. So is this the point or not? Uh, what has happened? Has the distance now become shorter or longer? This is confusing. So this will get very simplified if we take the reflection of point A about the line. Okay. And then now we can say that instead of traveling from A to this line to B, we can travel from A dash to that line and then to B. And just because this distance and this distance is, is same because the triangles are congruent, right? Then it doesn't make any difference. So either if you want to travel from A to the line to the B, from A to the line and then to B, it's same as the distance traveled is same as if you travel from A dash to the same point on the line to B. And once you realize that, then now you can understand that we will look thinking about this distance and this distance, right? So first, this is the new distance, right, from here. And previously, we were thinking from this point. So, yeah. So these two distances we are thinking about. And you can see very intuitively that the new point is the better point. Before, it wasn't that clear. But from now, you can see that this distance this is certainly longer, right, than this distance. This is shorter, you can feel. And you, I think you begin to feel also that the shortest distance will be this one, right? And the point which we are looking for is right here. This is the point, right? And then if you move uh, more to the right, then uh, again, you will have longer distances from here to here. So, this is the point P we were looking for. This is the point for shortest sum of distance. For two points on the same side of the line. So then uh, I think uh, this will be a good exercise for you. If you understood what happened in this video, then you can figure out what uh, this, 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 this thing for when A and B are on the opposite side of the line. So you have to find a point P on the line such that uh, the distance PA plus PB is minimum. And you can move anywhere on the line. And I think it's very simple. You can, but yeah, you can figure out the solution very easily. This time you <laughs> just, you can comment, you can share your experience, share your answer in the comment. And thank you for watching.